one, two. Yeah. Another memory lane episode coming to you live from Manhattan. Um, we bring to you the ultimate scratch session right now. It's going down. We got some more people on the way, but uh, peace, my man Shifty, for hosting this one. We got some more people in the place to be, and we got some people on the way, like we said. So tell a friend, tell a friend if you're into some scratching right now. Uh, you know the website because you're there right now, right? I'm going to stop talking let them get into it. Peace. I'm going to start talking. So, so since this is memory lane, I thought back to what was memory lane for myself. And that's uh, a bunch of people coming over, putting on a bunch of beats, and cutting up some ahs and some freshes. So we're about to take it back. We're about to get real uh, dirty up in here, but also take it back to my memory lane of how I used to, to go and practice. So I brought uh, some friends over. Uh, more people are coming on the way. A couple of my students at Dubspot are coming through. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this is how we used to do it. Uh, back in the day on that road called Memory Lane. So uh, yeah, we're gonna cut up some Oz. Uh, we got some people, maybe we'll do like an NBA style introduction. So standing seven feet tall from Georgetown, the mayor of Mo- Movie Land, Marcus Pinn is in the building. Get in there. <laughs> he, he, he and, uh, and uh, Mr. T have the same sideburns, but Marcus wears it a lot better, I think. Check out his sideburns. For, for people who are up on their movies, uh, Warner Herzog once told Marcus that his cyberns were exquisite, and that's a quote. We also have uh, Magnificent. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They were magnificent. Uh, we also have uh, Rugged One, Greg, uh, the man. The man, the man. He's he's a man, he's dumb man. He's, he's in the spot. Uh, Precision will be, uh, is on the way. He got stuck in uh, traffic in New York City somehow. I don't I don't even know how that happens. <laughs> I heard a year, year right, um, meaning I don't believe that for anyone out there who doesn't understand. Um, we also have uh, my student uh, Tommy Tenches in the building. Tommy, say what up to the people. We'll have a couple more of my students dropping dropping by because it's a uh, it's a family affair. What's that? Students from good good call. Students from where? Students from Dubspot, uh, the school that I teach at, uh, music and production school on 14th Street between 8th and 9th. You wanna you wanna come uh, you know learn your uh, wicked wicked your zigga ziggas and your beat making? Uh, this is this is the spot for you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not an MC, you know, but that doesn't mean I don't want to be. So yeah, let's start scratching. Let's start scratching. Let's go. 
students is in the building, DJ Wright, and he brought an entourage. So, this will be more, more so, more so, whoa, 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 whoa. There'll be some more scratch action coming at you. Don't, don't lie, this is the most exciting thing you've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> 
Butter breaks from Peanut Butter Wolf. Now we have a DJ Shiro uh, Vulcan Death Grip breaks. So the other part of this is going down a memory lane of uh, scratch records, um, the little records that could, so to speak. My student, uh, DJ Wright, stepping up, 15 years old. Take your Vulcan mind Gentlemen, and... Gentlemen, I suggest we concentrate on the disturbance at hand. 